Hello world, it's me, Jamungbai. Welcome to season three of Jamungbai Builds. Okay, get out of here. It's great to be back, and it's time to start another wave of builds. Starting with Nanobot, he's a super fighting robot. Mega Man! <laughs> oh my god. This guy weighs in at 170 pieces and stands at a two out of five difficulty. Not only will I be building Mega Man, but his energy tank as well. Everything you see right here is what's inside the box. And when I'm finished, it should all look like this. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's build up!
Okay, here's both Mega Man and the E-Tank completed. In my opinion, I feel that these truly capture the essence of those classic Mega Man sprites. Mega Man is our headliner, donning his signature shooting pose, with the illusion of his three shots achieved with clear blocks. Notice how Mega Man's foot is over the edge of the base plate? I wonder if this is a reference to how Mega Man scoots toward edges. I don't want to ignore the E-Tank, as it's a really cool addition to the set. It's cool, it's got an E on it, and it's a tank. I'm just happy I don't have to miss time jumps in order to get one. While this set is truly amazing, I am a little envious of anyone who got the 25th anniversary set from years ago. That set included two additional items aside from what you see here and the option to build Mega Man in a neutral standing pose. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a bit cheated, but there's no way I'm paying $150. That's not a jump I'm willing to take. This is pretty minor, but I think this is the first time I ever let colors of a set have me wondering if they're accurate. There are the sprite colors, the illustration colors, the collectible colors, which take after the illustration colors. It's all over the place. You know what? I'll just say the colors vary by media and just admit that I'm a little crazy for pointing this out. Building Mega Man was a pretty solid experience. This is a beginner level set, so it might have a little bit of a challenge if this is your first model. There are a couple of steps that require you to build underneath blocks before attaching them to Mega Man's head. It's not really difficult at all, but I'd keep it in mind if you're new to building nanoblock models. It's pretty common. Speaking of common, building the E-Tank has reminded me how spoiled I am to have a nanoblock pad. Oftentimes you'll encounter these one stud blocks that are kind of uneven from regular blocks. And because of that, I couldn't align them well with the studs on the pad, so I built off the pad, got distracted, and forgot two blocks on the bottom. Moral of the story? Don't be like Jamongbai. That aside, these models are awesome. I'm extremely happy that I was able to finally build them. I do wish I had that other set, just for the sake of building the other items and trying out that neutral standing pose. I can always hope for a re-release, but for now, what I have in front of me was well worth the price and the build. If you made it this far, <clears throat> oh, oops. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. There's definitely more to come. Are you building anything right now? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new around here, I hope you decide to stick around. Until the next episode, keep on building. Peace.